All right, we are working on proofs today. Um, so we just have one page of notes. This is page 15. And I know that proofs can be challenging, but you're really trying to just take what they give you and only what they give you to show what they want you to show. And um, so sometimes that's just one step in the middle, sometimes it's a couple, but you can't assume anything is really the key there. So it says use the si similarity criteria of angle angle, side angle side, and side 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 to prove triangles to be similar. Fill in the missing statement or reason from the two column proofs below. Um, so they put our given, A is congruent to D, and they mark that on our picture with these little circles. Um, and then from here, we have to try to figure out the rest. Now we do know, they actually filled this part out for us, angle ABE is congruent to DBC because these are vertical angles. Vertical angles are always congruent, so that's our reason. Vertical angles. And then the triangles are similar because we have angle, angle, we could find the last angle of our angle, angle criteria. Okay, so there's that one. Angle ADC and angle BEA are right angles. So those are already marked on here for us. And it says angle ADC is congruent to BEA. So ADC and BEA are congruent um, because they are both right angles. this was given to us. Then if you take a quick look here, we have two triangles. So we have ADC and we have AEB. Okay, there are more triangles than just those two, but we're trying to prove that those two are the similar ones. We can say that angle A is congruent to itself. And so angle A is congruent to angle A. That's your reflexive property. And then, again, you have angle, 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 angle. Um, and we could find the third angle to also be congruent. So they are similar by angle, angle. All right. SR is parallel to TG. So they marked that here for us. That was given. S is congruent to G. And since we have parallel lines, those are alternate interior angles. Alternate interior angles. Okay. Then we can also say that angle Q, so SQR and GQT are congruent because they are vertical angles. So then our two triangles are similar by angle, angle. This one is the most common. But remember, we do still have side, angle, side, and side, 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 where the sides are proportional. And then we can say QR is over QT, QT is equal to QS over QG um, by definition of similar. Once similarity is established, we know that there are three congruent angles. that the sides are proportional. So if you're trying to prove that some angles are congruent or sides are proportional, you would use definition of similar. All right, your assignment for today are pages 30 and 31. Um, so you're working on these proofs. But at any time you need some help, um, just raise your hand, and I'd be happy to give you some assistance.